I'm excited to share my recent interview with Cheyenne Marshall of Be Well 360. She's led an amazing journey. In this episode, Cheyenne shares some key insights on how she's built a successful wellness business while staying true to her authentic self as a practitioner and energy healer. I hope you enjoy the Beauty Biz Makeover Show. Does your beauty business need a little TLC? Or maybe just a little bit of help getting off your feet? Mm-hmm. Rest assured you found the right place at last. This is the Beauty Biz Makeover Podcast. Yeah. And here's your host, Al Morenton. Welcome to Beauty Biz Makeover, the place for independent hairstylists, beauty, and wellness pros. We have an amazing guest in the studio today, Ms. Cheyenne Marshall. Cheyenne is the founder, owner, and CEO of Be Well 360 LLC. She started her company to focus on helping individuals who have suffered through trauma and childhood trauma and are looking for continued trauma support. Her goal is to empower each client to step into their power take responsibility for their lives, and experience the power of choice. Cheyenne is a holistic healing arts practitioner, angel intuit, Reiki master teacher, end-of-life doula, and associate polarity therapy practitioner. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome, How are you? awesome. I'm doing very, very well. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. It's a blessed day. Awesome. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about who Cheyenne Marshall is and how you got involved in holistic health. Okay. Cheyenne Marshall is a transformation of who she once was. Um, I lived in a very dark place for a very long time and I decided that it was my choice to get myself out of the situations, the mindset and the limiting beliefs that I had been um, holding myself bondage to. So I decided it was my choice to liberate myself and live freely and authentically. And um, I decided I was going to be free to be me. Awesome. And I embraced myself. I started looking for my core beliefs, not what society said or what my parents said or what religion said, but I went on a journey to find what it is that Cheyenne is. And that is a journey I'll be on for the rest of my life. And I'm excited to help others go on this journey to find out who their authentic self is instead of living by other people's standards or other people's programming. Just living authentically unapologetically that's awesome being free yeah so that's that's really what my company is about is is taking these people who have experienced these things that i went through being isolated and um doing unhealthy things not respecting and honoring my body not respecting and honoring you know my mind and my soul And so I wanted to take my life experience and turn it into a way to help people who have been there. And I'm able to have that true empathy for these people and um, hold a sacred space for them to heal with them safely. That's awesome. Thank you. That's that's beautiful. And and you have like several certifications and even. I do. And all, all, this, all of this. And how, <laughs> how did you find your way to, to, to like, you know, actually going into business? And well, I always knew I wanted to, to have a business of my own. Um, back in the early 2000s, I went to school for psychology to get my bachelor's in psychology. And right before I graduated, I think I had some digital classes left, like computer tech classes left. I decided it's not for me. Like it doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. And so I quit and many years went by and, you know, still feeling lost, not knowing who I am, what I want to do. Many years went by and my life got, you know, darker and darker. And then I made that decision 
And I actually have a very special friend, um, Stephanie Taylor, who took me to the Southwest Institute of Healing Arts and got me a catalog. And I saw all these classes and I said, it's go time. And so I picked a program and I dove in and I think I changed my program halfway through mm -hmm. from a hypnotherapist to uh, the associates, Polarity therapist practitioner. And I'm also a Reiki master teacher. I do traditionally Sui and Angel Reiki. So I'm a master teacher for both of those. And I can do attunements for people that want to be a practitioner as well. That's awesome. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. And um, uh, for those that don't know, that might, in the audience, like, uh, the, 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 what, what, it, what exactly is Reiki and, uh, and then the angel? Okay. So um, in a traditional Reiki session, I do traditional Japanese Yusui protocols. Mm -hmm. And I stay very traditional to the way that he taught and practiced um, traditional Reiki. And then with Angel Reiki, I'm able to be more intuitive in those sessions. And they're, they're one of my favorite sessions because I can pull in the angel cards. If someone doesn't know what they want to work on, what direction to go, we can pull the cards out and get general guidance. Or they can ask a question and receive guidance that way. And... You know, we use sound healing, crystal healing, and aromatherapy. Sorry. <clears throat> My throat chakra is all clogged up. <laughs> um, but we use crystal healing, crystal sound, Tibetan bowls, um, aromatherapy. And um, I'm able to mix in with Reiki energy, polarity therapy, and cranial sacral. So it can be just this wonderful, magical mixing of healing energy that this person is receiving for their highest and greatest good. And I'm able to intuitively do it wherever my hands are called to be placed on their body and just really hold their energetic system. And this is truly when a lot of people have a breakthrough when they are being held energetically, feeling safe, they're able to release. And that is what I want to provide people, a place to safely release what no longer serves them, release what they've been carrying since childhood, release the stress from their day, just release anything that is not in resonance or in alignment with who and where they want to be. That's awesome. Thank that's you. beautiful. Yeah, and that, that that's so helpful. Like, you know, like the having the that, that the angel Reiki part of it. Like, is I'm sure a lot of people don't know where to begin. You know, yeah. and all, all of that. And then the fact that you have like all these multiple <laughs> you know modalities that you can combine into one session. Right. It's like instead of just getting a piece of the puzzle, you're putting the whole puzzle together right. for them. You know, right. that, that's beautiful. Awesome, awesome. I'm a firm believer in one size does not fit all for many things and especially for healing. One size does not fit mm -hmm. all. What works for me may not work for you. Yes. And so that's why we have these natural, God-given, divinely given ways to heal in so many different modalities. We yes. have polarity therapy, we have Reiki, we have reflexology, we have massage. These are all natural ways to heal. We have herbs from the earth to heal. And and so it's it's a personal choice. It's taking charge of your life. It's taking your power back and, and making the choice to find a direction to go and go try these natural healing ways that people want to call alternative medicine when it's the original medicine. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I suggest if you haven't tried it, try something new today. Yes, definitely. And yeah, that's what makes me crazy about the, um, the pop-up gurus, you know, that come from the internet where they yeah. tried one thing and it worked <laughs> for them when they say everybody should do that, right. you know, and, you know, and then they'll switch, 
you know, a, a six months or a year later, and everybody should do this now, you know. Yeah. So, so yeah, so you understanding you know, all of that is is so awesome. Yeah. So, what what does your practice look like today? Like, um, how, how do you help people? Like, like, do you, do you have, like the like and um, do like do your offerings? Like you said, you have a variety of them. I do. I have a variety of offerings. Um, we have an upcoming retreat in December that me and a colleague will be putting together. It's a more of a goddess retreat. And um, I do a lot of mini events within my home out here because I do live on the far side of Buckeye. Um, I'm trying to bring a sense of community and spiritual connection out here to the West Valley. And so people don't have to drive to Tempe Mesa all the time because I sure don't want to do that all the time. So I've opened my home as a sort of sacred space um, for this side of town to come and heal. So I do Reiki and all my energy work and coaching out of my home. And then I open my home up for West Side Women's Circle. And that awesome. is all about empowering these women to find their authentic self and fully embrace it and um, take themselves out of the box that they've been put in. That's That's ta awesome. Taking God and taking ourselves out of the box and living freely. And so I'm here to support these women. We have a monthly meeting and we come together. We do everything from shadow work to energy work to just... Um, <clears throat> really getting that fellowship and authentic connections. It's very hard to make a true connection with someone in person nowadays. Yes. And so I'm trying to facilitate a way for women to make clear, authentic connections. A place for intimacy. People think sex is intimacy. There's so many other types of intimacy that we could be sharing with each other, and we're not. So this is a place where we can come and love one another in, in ways of healing, in ways of support, and in ways of receiving and sharing, you know. That's awesome, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, you know, having a space for you know where people could just you know let, let go, you yes. know, and, and they feel comfortable. That's beautiful that you're providing that, especially out here, in, yeah. in, you know, because um, there is you know really not, not a whole lot, you know, in Los Angeles and Orange County where I was from. You know, like we, we would do monthly sound healings and stuff yeah. like that, like a CBD infused because of my company, yeah. but, but uh, you know, so and, and if there was opportunity for that. We would do mobile at different wellness centers and stuff yeah. like that. But out here, it's not not uh, as readily readily available. So it's so right. awesome that you are providing that you know a space for women to just you know be themselves, you know, be their, their authentic selves, yeah. as, as you say. Yeah, you know? without having to compare to each other, and you know, just be open about our insecurities. Yes, I feel this way about myself today. You know, and instead of hiding those things, we're being vocal about them, and we're receiving support you know it's a community we should support each other yeah definitely and that way there's no need for that competition the the jealousy the greed the envy anything like that because we're being open and honest with each other yeah. we're all dealing with pretty much the same thing internally <laughs> yeah it's normal yeah let's, let's make it a normal conversation and help each other um i do have some energy healing shares coming up um so this, these events are for everyone. The women's circle is obviously for women, but the next one I have a Reiki and practitioner share. So it's for people who want to learn how to be um, in awareness with their own energetic body, how to manipulate energy, and mm -hmm. also receive and share healing with practitioners. That's awesome. So it'll be it'll be a combination of just normal people wanting healing and wanting to learn about energy and practitioners willing to share um, their medicine with the people and that's, also receive. That's awesome. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Maybe I could be a part of that. I would love it. <laughs> you are absolutely welcome to join us. That'd be cool. So um, that's, 
that group, you know, that there's also a place where people where, um, people could uh, um, find out about like the different modalities. Al yeah, and yeah. Al the alternative to what they've been, you know, fed their whole lives. Because right. just to get in the exposure to it, you know, hearing about it or seeing it on a YouTube video is different than actually, you know, feeling the energy come off of an actual true practitioner. Absolutely. You know? And then, and then, like you said, like you have to build, like, like even between, with with a business like yours, you have to build an intimacy with your clients, right? Absolutely. There, there's so, a level yeah. of trust yeah. that needs to be found between a client and practitioner. Yes. And it's an honor when someone allows me on their journey with them, you know. So, and and like I said, one size does not fit all, and so this is that event will be a really good time for people to try different types of energy medicine because Reiki is not the only one, you know, there's hands on just healing mm -hmm. through prayer. Okay. You can bring down Christ consciousness, lay hands on people. You have polarity therapy, you have reflexology. These are all energy work. Massage is energy work. There's a ton of ways. Spinal flow, that's energy work. I mean, a lot cranial sacral, a cranial unwinding. There's a ton of resources and tools out there that people, um, I would like to educate them on that. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So, how are people reacting to your uh, to the services and uh, even things like the the women's uh, the West Side Women's Group and stuff like that, or is it Circle? Circle. Yeah, yeah. West Side Women's Circle. Um, how are they reacting to it today compared to like pre 2020 kind of thing? Like, are people freaking out things more or are they more like hesitant to it, resistant to it? What do you think? I would say there's a mixture of both. There are still people that want Western medicine only. Mm -hmm. They don't want the, um, what do they call it? The, the woo woo. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then I have, um, a lot of clients who have had very adverse reactions to things that they had to deal with um, between the years of 20 and 2022, um, they're having a lot of adverse reactions in regards to that. So they're coming and looking for natural healing. I don't like to use the word alternative, it's natural healing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's call it what it is. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. So, um, yeah, yeah our, our, my, my thing that I had um, um, right there was sort of holistic wellness. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but, that's, but, but, but that's, that's, that's what I always alternative and holistic therapies for the discerning individuals. Yeah, you have nice. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just whatever resonates with you, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, how, how do you get business? Because this is a, you know, a lot of people that won't listen to this are practitioners and you know in booty and wellness so how, how do you get business or, or attract clients how i attract clients is i i let people know what it is that i can help them with mm -hmm. and the number one thing i believe that has helped me in my business is i am not shy mm -hmm. I'm very serious and passionate about helping people heal. I'm not shy. I will talk to anybody about it for as long as you want. <laughs> and number two, I'm authentic. I have been through a lot of shit in my life. I've had a lot of trauma in my life. I have been a terrible person in my life. And I've gone through a lot of healing in my life. And I want people to know the full Cheyenne, not just what you see today, all pretty and happy. You know, there was a part of Cheyenne that that woke up every day wanting to die. You know, that there's a darker Cheyenne in that past, and I love her just as much as I love the one sitting here today. It's about embracing the shadow, right? Yeah. I love all of me now, and I'm, I'm still working on that. But when you express yourself in an authentic way your clients are going to be able to connect with you to connect with your energy energy knows energy and so most of the clients i see have gone through a lot of what i've gone through 
and it's like the divine timing and you meet people for a reason. Yes. And so people will see a video pop up on social media and they'll go, oh my God, that's for me. It's, it's the right time and the right resonance of energy. When you put that out there, the clients who need your medicine will come to you. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that's awesome. You know, and, and uh, you know, it's a lot uh, less stressful way to do business too. Yes. You know, just through the client attraction and just putting your like authentic self out there. You know, whether it's you know in person and mm -hmm. on video or whatever. You know, because of the modern age yeah. and stuff, and it's providing you know re resources. You know, where there are also like the traditional resources. You know, like so you could have a you give people an alternative and um yeah because like a lot of people these days that don't shop around for you know practitioners period but like or practitioners or items the same way as yeah. they used to you know they do a ton of research first and, let, and, and they'll find out about you and they want to do a little bit of research on you and yeah. you know look you know look at different things and stuff so you know um like have having uh um the, you know, some videos out there and yeah. some content out there in addition to just, you know, doing the in-person uh, events and things Making like that. Making yourself available. Yeah, that's very, yeah. very important. You know, and, and you're doing all of those. You have, you have all those pluses going on. Like, you have, you have a, a website, you know, it's yeah. a, and it's a, and it's a, it's a good website. It's not just it's thrown together, you know, and, um, you know, there's a lot of thought put into it. And then you're, you, you have the, um, women's circle, the West Women's Circle, you know, which, which is the in-person kind of thing, you know, to help community and then attract customers from that. And then you have the on online stuff, you know, I, I've seen that you've been interviewed on podcasts before yeah. and you, you know, you have video, you have your Instagram, you have a bunch of different things going on. So you're doing all the right stuff, you, you know, so you. congratulations and good job on that. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's you know, I'm also a mother of two, mm -hmm. and I have a senior graduating this year, Ooh. and I'm a wife for 19 years. Yeah. So I've been married for 19 years, and I'm, I'm running the household, I'm running the business, and I've never had so much energy in my life. That's awesome. When you start living in alignment with yourself, your truth, with your divine, if you have a spiritual connection, if you live in alignment, like you, you can get so much done because it is for you. Yeah. Yes. I would be, you're not 10 dreading. years ago, I would be like, yeah. oh my God, I need a shot. I'm not doing this. I'm nervous. I have social anxiety. Don't look at me. And now I'm here to say, throw that out the window. Go be yourself. You have medicine that no one else does. Go give it to the world. Don't be selfish. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. And let's collaborate. You know, I feel like anybody that wants to help people, like pure intention, help people, let's collaborate. There are ways to help people in so many different ways. It's, it's, it's just as far as the imagination can go we can create ways to help and touch people and plant seeds of healing, you know? So yeah, I'm always down for collaboration with other practitioners and people that want to help. That's awesome. That's another thing too, is like not being like in this little thing where I, I can't like spread my word or spread my energy or anything. Cause I was scared that other people, you know, I, I, I want to, I want to, I, I can't like, you know, associate with other people, even in the same field as me, because they're going to take my clients or something right. like that. No. You know, having an open mind, because like there's so many people, like, like you know, there's, you know, even like it's in Buckeye right now, there's 80, 90,000 people. You can't take care of all of them. You know, like right. there's, there's so many, you know, there's so much to go around, you know, where, where you can just be open like right. you are and, um, and you experience uh, and eat much easier life, like you're saying. Yeah. You know, and, and you don't dread Monday, you know, like, oh, right. tomorrow's Monday? You know, it's like. I don't even know what day it is half the time. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> I just you know, look and see when, like, uh, yeah, someone pops like, up. So you, you know, you see that in people, you know, like, I, like on Sunday, like their, their, their attitude changes and like, and then all of a sudden, like, oh, they're going to work tomorrow. Okay, they have, yeah. to, they have to clock in and, 
and they're not happy with where they're clocking in to, you right. know, and, and uh, so, so you're, so yeah, um, you're a good example too for, for people, you know, to, that, that it's possible to go from, you know, uh, darkness and frustration, yes. in, in, you know, into the light. So, 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 yeah, yeah. and um, it's always the best, to, you know, to have practitioners that have experience and can actually, have, you know, have helped people and, you right. know, they can, you know, show that, but have also gone through it and are continuing to grow. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, like, like you and, and I'm not a practitioner that's going to say I have all the answers. I don't. And that's why I use my cards and that's why I call my angels in because I don't have all the answers. And I do, um, I do want to just put that out there. If, if someone does claim to have all the answers, <laughs> just go ahead and run the other way. Yeah. Just run the other way. But because we don't, and that's, that's why I use the cards because in that angel Reiki session that I can only see so much, my vision, my peripheral, it goes only so far into the day, you know, mm -hmm. and they have an umbrella vision of what's going on in our life and in our future and everything. And so we have the ability to reach out for that guidance and assistance. That's awesome. Yeah. It's super awesome. Do you have any, uh, like recommendation for like, uh, somebody that's new to, into holistic health that's yeah. sort of struggling and might, uh, you know, like any advice to keep them motivated and going? Yeah, I do. Okay. When I, there are times when I'm like, okay, I need a break. Okay, resting is not quitting. Let's get that clear. So if you are burnt out, take a rest. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not quitting your business. You're not giving up on yourself or your business. You're just taking a break. And that is fine. Wonderful. If you are feeling... Like you're having a hard time. You're feeling stuck. You're not seeing things to have gratitude for. Start the gratitude journal, number one. Write down what you're happy about, what you are thankful for. My pillow is so soft this morning. Thank you. The little things, the big things. And second, go volunteer. Go volunteer. There are a ton of places that need volunteers. And when you give, you receive. Okay. So when you're giving that good healing energy out in whatever capacity that is for you, you receive that in return. Yes. You receive that energy back in return and it will fill your cup so that you have something to pour. So yeah, definitely go volunteer. I volunteer with, um, Amanda Hope, um, Rangel, Amanda Hope, Rainbow Angels, and um, they help people, um, children with um, fatal diseases like cancer and, and stuff like that. And so I'll go and I'll um, donate my services, and then I donate with um, Nick Lowry Youth Foundation and Saint Vincent de Paul. And so I'm always looking for new. Um, new people, new organizations to help donate my services to. Awesome, awesome. Yes, yeah. yeah, spread the healing. That's beautiful. Yeah. Do you have any um, like last words for the audience or for any uh, practitioners out there? Mm -hmm. Any last words? And we were all put here for a purpose. And if you don't know what that purpose is yet, that's perfectly fine. Find it, find what sets your soul on fire, what lights you up and go do it. Live aligned with that feeling. When you feel in flow with what you're doing, you're in alignment and you're headed towards your greatest and highest good. So just do what sets your soul on fire and don't let anything get in your way. There's always a choice. It may not be easy, but there's always an option. So keep looking for that option. That's awesome. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you for having me. I really have enjoyed my time here with you. Yes, and thank you for coming on the show. It's been a, a great interview. Thank you. And I just wanna let everybody know, if I could, 
Um, my website is www.bewell360llc.com. So you can find all my services and events on that page. And I would love to get together with you and maybe soon you'll see an event hosted by us. Right on. Yes. And we'll also put all of her contact info in the notes below uh, the podcast in both audio and video form. Okay. So thank you for coming on the show, Cheyenne. Thank you so much. Much love, everyone. Thank you. All right. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Beauty Biz Makeover Show. Now I have a question for you. Is your marketing up to the test? To discover your Beauty Biz marketing score, go to beautybizquiz.com and see how you measure up. This is perfect for you if you're a hairstylist or a beauty pro, work for yourself and rely on a steady stream of reliable clients. It's completely free. Test takes less than 90 seconds and you'll get a tailored report at the end. So go ahead and take your marketing makeover test at beautybizquiz.com. This is Al Morenton with Beauty Biz Makeover and Beauty Business in a Box. I hope you have a beautiful day. Peace.